Hi, maybe you remember me. More than a century ago, I came up with a crazy theory called relativity. I claimed that particles could not be accelerated to the speed of light or beyond because it would take an infinite amount of energy. So far, so good. No such particles called tachyons have yet been found. But now some Meshuggahna is saying that faster than light tachyons will be seen this year. This is the same crazy guy who in a 2012 video explained how tachyons might be created in collisions without infinite energy being needed. Now this guy, who calls himself Dr. Tachyon, is predicting that an experiment known as Katrin will find the evidence for neutrinos being tachyons. This experiment, underway in Germany, was designed to measure the mass of the neutrino, not its speed. Nearly all physicists expect Katrin will find neutrinos are at least two million times lighter than the electron. But Dr. Tachyon thinks you are all wrong. He says they will find three different masses, one of which is imaginary. This being one of the weird properties of faster-than-light tachyons. Some physicists call imaginary mass tachyons ghosts. But don't let that spook you out. Imaginary mass basically means two things. First, tachyons must always move faster than light. And second, they speed up as they lose energy. Dr. Tachyon is so sure he is right about some neutrinos being tachyons that he has written a book about what Katrin will find, which is a completely nutty thing to do before the discovery is even made. Here you can see this guy's website where he goes into this whole Fakakta business. That's a picture of the main part of the Katrin experiment being hauled through the town of Leopold Schäfen. And that's Dr. Tachyon gazing into his crystal ball to make his Katrin prediction. What a Meshuggahna! By the way, one weird thing about Tachyons is that they might allow you to send a message back in time. Maybe Dr. Tachyon received a message from the future, telling him that his crazy idea is right. Who can say? After all, the distinction between past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion.